Hello and welcome to the quick overview of the calculator mod which adds lots of calculators as you can see in the bottom here and some other things. So the first calculator that you need to know about is the crafting calculator which is basically a portable crafting table which you can take anywhere. The next one is the normal calculator where you can add two items together to create another item and all the recipes and all that kind of stuff hopefully they'll be on a page somewhere where you can check out okay and then there's the scientific calculator which can also combine two items but this time it's got more more recipes and better stuff like that it's good to think of the calc mod in different stages so you can only get a few certain things if you have the scientific calculator or say the atomic calculator and things like that you can only get them if you have that calculator so you can think of it as stages so the first stage I guess is getting your crafting calculator and then the normal calculator and then the scientific one and stuff like that things you can make are stuff like all these swords and stuff some of them are on the scientific some are on the other ones so there's all that stuff and the next one is the atomic calculator where you can combine three items together and you can make some more stuff with that then there's the dynamic calculator where it combines all of those calculators into one so you don't have to bother with fidgeting between each one so you've got the normal calculator scientific and atomic okay the next important block is the power cube because without this your calculators would run out of charge and you could never charge them back up again so basically every time you use a calculator it takes damage as how much charge it has left so here you go it has taken some damage and to get it back up to full again you're going to need to uh, charge it up with some form of of like fuel so you're going to need to charge it up with some sort of fuel and it will charge up back to a full calculator again and that works for every single calculator apart from like a few exceptions then there's the stone separator. Now this only has one recipe, so I might as well show it to you. As the same with the, um, I might add more recipes. Bearing in mind this mod is still in early stages, so it's it's not complete yet. So this separates the two into um, tanzanite, which is a gem, and in this one it does it to M into amethyst and basically this one much lower level you can you make this pretty easily and this is quite hard to make and what those gems can be used to make are the amethyst and tanzanite saplings now these are pretty cool now what these can be used for is portable hunger points and portable health points so if I right click on this, it, as you can see, it says 0 0.0. So that's how many hunger points I have on the module. So if I right click on these tan, um, amethyst leaves, sorry, you can see it filling up with points. And those are indeed hunger points. Health one, and then this does exactly the same, but this time it's you get the tanzanite leaves. They have the health, the magical health inside them. So, for example, if I jump off the side, even though I'm running really slowly because I've got no hunger, which is annoying, boom, so I've lost my, oh, it's probably because I didn't set saturation, silly me, sorry, I'm about to die from that now, anyway. Okay, so hung health works normally, it just refills your health straight away although it's just I'm low I'm, I'm, I'm about to die so I guess we have a few hiccups to improve on but those are the hunger modules now this is the basic terrain module which is really useful for people who like um, doing creative kind of stuff so in creative or even in survival it's still useful and if you see I'm shift clicking now um, you get dirt, stone, grass, and stuff like that. So if I 
go on stone, I can change all the other ones into stone. So that only includes uh, grass, dirt, and yeah, just grass and dirt for stone, that is. And then if I shift click, I can go to grass, so I can change all these to grass. Now, this is actually so useful when you're trying to make your place look a bit nicer or something like that. It's just really useful. So say you had a place like this because, uh, I don't know, you'd have TNT and you're trying to clear up after it. Then you can just go through and just clean it up really quickly instead of having to go for all the other things. And yes, it does have charge as well. Then there's also the advanced terrain, which is identical, but it has two extra sand and grass. Sand and gravel, sorry. So you can do the same with them. So you can so there's the gravel there. And this is the flawless calculator, which has dynamic crafting, which is this one, the dynamic calculator but portable. It has normal crafting. Oh sorry, I clicked on the thing then. Normal crafting. So it has uh the crafting calculator built into it as well. So you can do that. And it's also got spawn grenade. Now this is something that we probably should go somewhere far away. But it's a good thing that this also has ender pearl. So we'll just ender pearl out of here. Let's go. Come on. Quickly. Quickly. Ah, here we go. Who built this firing range? I have no idea. Or throwing range, or I should say. Well, actually, no, I don't need that. Sorry. I need to use my spawn grenade feature. Now, you can have 12 ender pearls or 12 grenades. It were well, interchanges. So, boom. But we've also. You can also make them. They're very easy to make, so. But you've got unlimited with the. Let's just blow this stuff up. Oh, we just blew up up where we were. Well, and yeah, this is super fun. You should have a go. But you're probably going to need the calc mod before you have a go at this kind of stuff because it's dangerous. And if it wasn't coded properly, maybe it might blow up your whole world. But luckily, I wouldn't know how to do that. So it's fine. So there you go. Blow all your stuff up and have a great time. So that is, so far, the calc mod. Um, I mean, it's got a long way to go, so if you've got any recommendations or ideas or bugs or things like that, or you, ideas for what I should add next, then, or if you just want to know how I coded something, I'll just tell you, that's fine. Yeah, just say.